but we we kind of got a little bit into to Jared Kelnick. It to me, it's not just about him as a baseball player. It's just about him as an athlete in Seattle. Yeah, like what kind of you know what kind of guy is he? He's definitely different. I don't think you can fault him for that. He just had a different background from most people. You know, it wasn't like he was playing little league and you know, and then high school and college. He just went a different route and played on like the travel teams and things like that. So you know, there's I don't know if there's any sort of chore there for him to kind of integrate with his teammates and things like that. Seems like mm-hmm. seems like the guys like him, but for the most part it's it's just about he was hyped up. You know, right. I remember when service came in and just said, "Man, this guy's a five tool guy. He is like the best workout we've ever seen." And I was like that was like 3 or 4 years ago and I was like, "Wow, I can't wait yeah. to see this guy." And yeah, and we've seen flashes of that. And over the weekend actually, uh cut number 2, Kelnick hit uh, second inning home run. Shares some time out in left field along with veteran A.J. Pollock. Swing and a fly ball. Well hit. In the center field. And this one is gone. Goodbye baseball. A line shot home run for Jared Kelnick. His first hit of the spring is a rocket right back up the middle toward the batter's eye. Holy smokes. What a shot by Kelnick. Is that a pitcher's nightmare hearing that sound? (laughs) Crack. Yeah, I was talking about this with uh, Lefko on on Monday. It's spring training when you have when you already know you've made the team, and you just get blasted. You just like you, you, the, the the famous quote. Oh, I'm just getting my work in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm working on this pitch. You yeah, can just I'm working use on any things. of these excuses. Yeah. But if you're a guy who like is trying to impress, and you just hear that whack. Like, oh. Here we go. It's going to be one of those spring trainings. For sure. That's what we always would make that joke about. Because uh, you always hear that about the pitchers, you know, when they get shelled. Oh, he's working on something. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's working on just slightly different yeah. group. Yeah, okay, place. so is he a guy that you can tell, like, he gets up there? Is it What's different about him? And, uh, to me, I, I feel like it's between his ears. Yeah. And I think that's the case with most players. I know it was for me. I mean, my second year I came back, and it sounds sort of counterintuitive, but – I was able to turn my brain off. I was thinking too much. Yep. You know, and so you just have to go out and sort of let it flow. You think that's where he's at? You seeing any signs of that? No, I totally agree with you. And you and you, you nailed it. He has to just go out and enjoy being a major league baseball player. When he first came up, he did not enjoy being. We saw him in, in at, down at Cheney Stadium, and he's hyped up. He's going crazy and everything else, having some success. And that was his one way to have fun. I'm talking about even when you go 0 for 30. Enjoy the everyday of, and I'm not trying to sound all, you know, trying to get all, you know, deep and meaningful here, but it doesn't last long. As you know, being yeah. a professional athlete, it doesn't last long. And I think for Jared Kelnick, he, this offseason was interesting. You mentioned all the things about not playing. He didn't, never played high school baseball. His whole upbringing was you were going to go play on this team because it gets you on this team to get you here, to get seen, to go, to go get drafted high. Mm. That was it. That was a whole motivation the entire time. So, and then last, we were at the same spot last year, if you remember, with Jerry Kelnick. What are we going to see from him? Mm-hmm. And you talked about Mark McGuire being his, you know, personal hitting um, guru, guru <laughs> slash, uh, what's the word I'm, I'm trying to think of? Like Sherpa. Oh, yeah, what, what, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Whatever you want to say. And it's just like, okay, all right, that's great. But is this, you know, and it was exciting. It's like, oh, wow, he's got someone he can lean on, like a Mark McGuire. And then all of a sudden, April rolls around, and we saw the exact same things we saw when he first came up. We really did. And he just didn't look like he was enjoying anything he was doing at all. And so I think when you talk about him hitting these home runs, if he can just absolutely go off these first couple weeks, yes, it snowballs you because you're like, man, all that work I put in this offseason, it's real. It's not just me talking to Shannon Dreyer after the game and saying all the right things or talking about some hitting consigliarian or, you know, that's the word. I was <laughs> there we go. That's it. He was going mafia on us. <laughs> or, Gangster. Some, or some facility or something. It's like, you know what? Okay, now this, this is clicking now. Something's clicking and I can lean on that. But we will not know with Jared Kelnick, regardless of how different he looks or, you know, if it's some different wording he's using until April rolls around. Yeah. When it's that, when he's down 0-2 and that, and that pitcher just completely exploits that certain spot where he just cannot get to. That's, that's when we'll really see what we're, what we're in for with, for Jared Kelnick.